Unity can now import models that have the Stingray PBS shaded material assigned in 3D Studio or Maya. This means that you can get all the textures and parameters required for a physically based shading model in your DCC and get like for like visuals, uh, visual results in Unity. Using a standard shader variant, Roughness Model. This shader has a separate roughness map making it easier for the artist than embedding it in an alpha channel. So if we have a look at the rendering um, editor, which is our hypershade uh, inside Maya, then this is the material uh, that's created. Generally speaking, if you were to create a new material, then you want to select the Create Material Stingray PBS material from here which will have all of the slots that you can populate with all the relevant info including the uh, base color, the normal maps, metallic maps, roughness map, emissive and AO, ambient occlusion. So what that means is you can set those all up to look how you want uh, in your source package and obviously um, Myra Max use their own reflection cube maps so as close as you can have, you're going to have the uh, material parameters with the same smoothness, roughness rather, and um, normal mapping and all the color values that you'd expect. So what that means is that setting stuff up uh, in your source package may take a little bit longer, but coming into Unity, your materials are ready to go. So in this particular example, we have the material uh, and I'm going to export this guy into the scene so that we can see it on its own. I B P B S, and we'll switch over to Unity, and we're just going to have a little look here in our models um, and drop him in. And what you see straight away is that we have parameters. In the material set already including the albedo metallic roughness normal map and an occlusion as well and that can all be adjusted inside unity but the point being it's set up very quickly and ready for you uh, via the fbx import pipeline now this is the new type of material which is a standard shader but it's the roughness setup which is the inverse of smoothness it works in the metallic workflow so you have a metallic map that represents how metallic the individual parts of the material are likewise the roughness is which parts are super shiny which parts are rough and don't reflect all populated uh, inside unity um, additionally in 3d studio then if you want to be selecting the direct text material um, and you want to choose from here the drop down is stingray and that will give you the ability to drop in the maps that you want or you can actually just use values uh, and they will be um, preserved through the import pipeline uh, into unity so there are some minor variations between the parameters to be expected um, but with all the same parameters and slots mirrored in Unity, it's far easier to iterate and adjust your materials by eye at source or afterwards in Unity.